with you guys a very simple, super delicious recipe that tastes actually really meaty, but there's no meat in it. It's my drunken mushroom spaghetti. It's delicious. Um, so we're gonna go through the ABCs or the 101 of mushrooms. Uh, the first thing um, we're gonna talk about are the combination of using dried mushrooms, in this case, dried porcini mushrooms, and fresh mushrooms. When you incorporate dry and fresh together, you get the bonus with the dried mushrooms of liquid that's very intense in mushroom flavor. The porcinis, I'm gonna throw into a little pot and cover them with vegetable or chicken stock and let them steep. And this will turn into basically mushroom, kind of mushroom tea. You're going to get all the bonus of that super rich porcini flavor and that'll add a lovely layer of flavor to the sauce itself. So you could buy a bag of mixed wild mushrooms or I prefer porcini. You could get them right in the regular grocery store now, way cheaper than back in the day when they used to just be sold at fancy schmancy gourmet markets. So while that's working and they're reconstituting, they're kind of plumping up and making our beautiful flavored stock, we're gonna talk about fresh mushrooms. I've got a combination of three of my favorites here, shiitake mushrooms, hen of the woods, and then probably the most useful mushroom, the cremini or baby portobello mushroom. We're going to um, run our knife through and slice our beefy creminis. Again, you pull apart these beautiful maitake or hen of the woods mushrooms. They just fall right apart. You just pull them into long, thin trumpets and they're good to go. For four portions of this spaghetti, we're going to use a pound and a half combined weight of mushrooms. So your shiitakes, you stack them. It looks like a little hamburger in a bun, doesn't it? And then, and then you just run your knife through into pretty ribbons. So we're gonna take our giant hot skillet. We added our olive oil. The olive oil is rippling. That means, oh, okay, I'm hot. I'm ready for more things to come to the pan. I'm gonna add a few fat pats of butter into my olive oil and swirl it so that you get an even foam in the pan. I know, it smells good already, right? Um, and then we just let these guys go. When we come back, we'll add some shallots and garlic once our mushrooms are brown. Look at the color on these mushrooms. You need to brown your mushrooms first before you add any other ingredients to the pan and before you salt them. Salt draws out liquid and slows down the cooking process. I'm dropping my spaghetti in a giant pot of water. So we have our combination of a pound and a half of mushrooms. Now that they have done their job and browned, I can add in two fat large shallots or one small onion. I'm gonna add in lots of garlic. You put this in too soon and the garlic will bitter because it'll overcook and brown along with the mushrooms. So you put this in after the mushrooms are nice and deep and meaty and fragrant. Man, it smells good. We also have our porcini mushrooms that we've reconstituted. We're going to finish the dish. Uh, we can salt now, of course. We're gonna finish the dish with the bright pop of a little lemon juice. So we're going to also add a little bit of our lemon zest. Zest her out here. Okay. And let's get those mushrooms drunk. <laughs> so half a bottle of white wine and to the chef goes the other half of the bottle of wine. <laughs> Lots of beautiful fresh herbs in there. I just added a ton of thyme and sage. Mushrooms love thyme and sage. And now we're going to add all but the last few spoonfuls of our stock from our porcini mushrooms. The reason we don't use the last of the stock is that if there's any grit on these mushrooms when they were dried, it will settle to the bottom. So you don't want to add grit to your food. This is how we marry pasta sauce to the pasta itself. Hot, starchy, salty cooking water. All of your sauce with all of your pasta, in this case it's spaghetti, to that fat handfuls of Parmigiano cheese, and to that nice, fatty, fruity, good olive oil. Beautiful. 
Yeah. And then you transfer it to your pasta bowl. Oh. 